Hi, my name's Danny. I write a blog called Food Urchin. Uh, it's a bit of an irreverent, offbeat kind of blog. Uh, I like to talk about my adventures in the kitchen. I get up to some unusual things. Uh, I like to forage for snails. I like to cook lamb in pits in the garden, much to my wife's displeasure. Um, and I like to just do something that's just a little bit out there, a little, out, a little bit out of the ordinary, really. Um, and today, uh, I'm in charge of the turkey. We're going to crown the turkey, separate the legs, debone the legs, and stuff them with sausage meat to use as an accompaniment on the side. So here comes the gruesome part. Okay, we're going to take this, uh, this, this, this what, should, what should we call her? We should give her a name, really. Dorothy. We'll call her Dorothy. We're going to take Dorothy apart. Sorry, Dorothy. Okay, so first things first is that we need to take the legs off. And it's very, very simple. What you want to do is make an incision down the side and essentially pop the leg out of its socket. Okay? And once you've popped it out of its socket, you can cut through and bang, that's one leg off. And again, if we do it on the same side, and again, if we do it on the same side, literally cut through, and just want to pop that joint out. Sounds a bit gruesome. She won't mind anymore. Sorry, Dorothy. And then, there we go. After you've done the legs, what you need to do is run your knife along the rib cage towards the inside of the chest on either side. And here is the real, real gruesome part. Look away, kids. Okay, and as you see, I've just basically folded the backbone in half. Once that's been folded off, it's a case of just chopping through, and there you go. Now, next up will be the wings. Now, what you want to do is, is basically take them up mid-joint, really, at the halfway through the wing. So if I cut down, okay, there's probably butchers and chefs across the land right now looking at me going, oh my God, Dan, what are you doing? Okay, again, just try and pop, pop the joint. Okay, now these bits that I've cut off, the wings, the backbone, and what have you, these can be used for your, your gravy, so don't forget about them, don't throw them away. You just uh, stick them in a pan, roast them off um, with some onion, some carrot, some celery, uh, pour a bit of liquid on, that's going to give you a real good base for your stock, for, for your gravy for Christmas Day. Okay, and then we come to the last part, which is basically taking the wishbone out, the wishbone in the in the V part of the turkey in, in Dorothy. Okay, so basically the wishbone is running just as in a, in a V shape in the inside of the, uh, of the breast and we just want to tease that out. Just cutting really close to the wishbone and just make an incision right towards the centre and right the way out again and you should be able to pull the wishbone out. Well, you should be able to. So once you've jointed everything, taken the legs off, taken the, the backbone out and trimmed the wings, all you really want to do after that is just tidy it up by trussing the wings, uh, the wings together right towards the back. Basically, your turkey crown is ready to sit nice and neatly in the roasting tin. And okay, at this stage, you, you, you still might be a bit worried about the breast drying out, so a couple of other tips there. You could still put some bacon over the top, uh, or you can simply lubricate underneath the skin with some, uh, uh, some butter, some salt and pepper, just to stop the, the breast meat from drying out. Mm -hmm.